Logan Gregor joined by Ethan Winkler today to give you your Tuesday tech tip. With a storm hitting the Northeast in the next couple of days, we wanted to give you some RV prep tips when it pertains to storms. So Ethan, take it away. Uh, so like Logan had just said, we got a snowstorm coming and if you are a seasonal camper or just a transit camper, uh, chances are your trailer or motorhome is already winterized, tucked away and, and ready for this snow. But if you are a full timer and you're stuck in the Northeast or even a full timer on a seasonal campground that allows the full time through the winter, uh, few big things that you want to get ready for. You want to make sure your awnings are rolled up. This passport right here has two uh, patio awnings. So you want to make sure that they're uh, rolled up and ready to kind of take on that snow. If you have solid steps or even your stabilizer jacks, you wanna make sure that you can find uh, some blocks if you don't already have them like we have here. So a couple uh, cut up two by fours will uh, do just fine and keeping these feet off the, uh, the, the, the ground so that way those feet don't sink in, the snow covers them. And then if the temps rise and then fall, uh, you'll see ice build up on them and then they're stuck and you can't get them up. So like I said, same thing with the jacks and even the front tongue jack, you want to make sure that you find a way to get it right off the ground. And those blocks are something that should be in every camper's kit anyway. You know, um, even if you aren't camping in the winter, those are really helpful in the spring and early summer where there's, you know, it's mud season and especially in the Northeast. So that should be something that's in the uh, camp kit anyway. Yeah. You never know when you're going to need a block and there's a hundred different things you could use them for. So if you could put a little bucket up them in the trailer no harm speaking of let's get to the front here you uh you jog my memory with the with the tongue jack okay so this is an example right now of not using a block right and we want to right and it's yeah. the same situation so if you are caught uh, basically as that full timer but you need to leave within the next couple of days you want to make sure that that tongue jack um, is not having contact with the ground and instead with a block so that you could Hopefully it doesn't ice over. Yeah, and then and then you're stuck. Exactly. And then another example you've mentioned is when that camper moves or settles. If it's not, we have an example right behind us, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. That uh, manual crank right there got stuck in the ground, and then the trailer kind of settled and rolled, and now we have a little bend to it. And that wouldn't have happened if we had had a block under that. Is that correct? Yeah, it would have been a little more forgiving and kind of rode the, the wood block or any kind of block that was on it and sure. wouldn't have dug in. So let's talk about the overall, uh, there's some other pieces to this, right? So windows, uh, roof vents, and even things like antennas. Talk to me about those and how those pertain so, to storm uh, prep. Windows, I know, I know a lot of customers that will leave their windows open uh, just a little bit to get a breeze and you, you want to make sure that you uh, close those before the snow comes. Same thing with the vent because chances are uh, you could get a snow drift and if you're not uh, paying attention, not at the trailer and you have either of those open, you may find a little bit of snow uh, gradually coming in. Even if it was like a car window and you leave it down, you come back in the right. morning and you have a pile <laughs> of snow on your seat. So Never uh, keep an eye on those. And then uh, you don't see it too often now, but depending on the make and model uh, in year of the uh, RV, there is the crank up uh, antennas for your over the air TV. If that's up, you have the kind of the ears that hang off and you have the gears down low. So if the snow's heavy enough, you may find that you'll get a little bend to the ears on the antenna. Um, and then same kind of rules apply, uh, the snow getting into the gears uh, to crank it up and crank it down, it could ice over. If you got to get going and you can't get that down, you're going to be in a little bit more of a bind uh, trying to get on your way. Got it. So in summary, Ethan, basically we need to be mindful of the steps, the jacks, uh, also the slides, the awnings, antennas, and roof vents. There's a lot to unpack there, but it, it's pretty easy if you make it part of your camping process. Is that correct? Yeah, and even if you just make a little list for you to have, because I mean, you're a full timer, so I'm sure you're gonna have a, a few checklists to keep handy, and that's gonna be one of them if you're up in the Northeast in the winter time. Absolutely. So. Well, thank you so much for your tips today, Ethan, and thank you for joining us for the tech tips. If you do like the content that you saw today, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.